يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وامنوا برسوله يؤتكم كفلين من رحمته and sabran jamilan uh, or patient grace means patient forbearance from trying to get even because of one's knowledge that Allah will deal with everyone as they deserve and will miss nothing. And it is patience without complaining to anyone except Allah. That is completely free of despair, jaza, or, uh, or, exon- or exonerating oneself, to uh, or uh, So be patient with their delusions and their denying your message while knowing better uh, they knew that the Quran was not an ordinary human mind production because it, 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 they could tell, like our Mufassirin can tell, the, the, the greatness. And this is why we have a course to try to understand how magnificent the language is and how huge the meanings are that it compresses into a very small compass of words. Uh, they could tell, and they, so their, their denial was juhud. Juhud means when you know what you're denying is the truth, you know, in bad faith, in other words, or as I've expressed it here, uh, denying while knowing better, and their ignorance. So the, re- 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 the reconciling of the Prophet in this and the preceding verse is to inure him, uh, steal him and harden him to their crying him lies and mocking him and to strengthen his already firm prophetic resolve to call the world to Allah and to the only way of life that can lead to ultimate happiness, which is a, lo- uh, a life that is a life in Allah, for Allah, to Allah, in com- and in complete submission to Allah, who knows better than we where our true and deep happiness lie. And it is called Islam, or submission. And so Allah lays out in some detail in this sort of the attributes of the self, and which kind of person- personality will be uh, 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 will bring one felicity in this life and the next, and also on which kind of personality the message will be lost upon, and who will be damned. Now, the attributes of felicity entail patient grace. This is one of the fadail, one of the things that, and sabr is the key to success. A bunch of uh, psychologists made an experiment for kids to see which are the most successful kids. They said, here, you can get, take your reward now. If you, do, if you do this task correctly, you can take your reward now. Or you can wait for two minutes or five minutes, and you get two rewards. And the kids that you know, could, say, could capable of denying their nafs and having sabr and waiting for five minutes uh, at the end, instead of taking the one reward, or could figure out that two rewards is better than one, and so that if they just wait, uh, were the ones that it best predicted these children's success in future life. In other words, sabr is the best predictor of success and, uh, in, in this, uh, this experiment. It's a famous experiment, I'm sure all of you have heard of it. But, uh, so sabr and jamilan is uh, the, it, attaining the attributes of felicity entail patient grace. Sabr and jamilan, which is born of total yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's message and the ultimate ends of mankind and the good of them and the evil of mankind. So this patience at its best is not admixed with agitation, ittirab, annoyance, istithqal, complaint, shakwa, or rash, haste, istajal. And it's like that of Sidna Yaqub in Surat Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam. This is where this expression appears earlier in the Quran. Uh, and they brought lying blood on his gown, on the gown of Yusuf, as they threw him in the cistern and uh, put uh, fake blood or blood from another animal on his gown and said, the wolf ate him. And so they brought lying blood on his gown and Yaqub said, that, that they said uh, he said, rather, your hearts have made plausible to you a heinous thing. So mine is patient grace. Sabrun uh, jamilun. It's a mahdhuf. Mine, he says, li sabrun jamilun. Li sabrun jamilun. So mine is patient, patient grace. And Allah is the unfa- unfailing help against what you describe. So I've used the word grace here. Uh, some people say grace, grace, it sounds like a Christian concept. 
because in the, as in the Oxford English Dictionary mentions, for a pleasing quality of seemliness, becomingness, or a favorable creditable, creditable aspect, as an expression, uh, with good grace, such as with good grace, meaning as, with a show of willingness, as if pleased to do so, I suffer. Uh, and on the other hand, with bad or ill grace, with, uh, meaning with ill-concealed reluctance or ungraciously or throwing a tantrum. The former is exemplified in a, uh, a book uh, some years back, 1836, Blackwood's Canada, and it reads, when the tide fails, cast anchor and wait with the best grace we can. <laughs> you know, you know the, the tide helps you get out of the, uh, out of, uh, the harbor and get, without a lot of, using a lot of fuel. And, uh, and so when the tide fails, cast anchor, just you know, pick, drop the hook and wait for the be with the best grace that we can with patience. And, uh, by, and a citation from one of uh, Charles Dickens' letters in which he says, uh, I submit with the worst grace possible. <laughs> Impatiently. I mention these uh, not only to clarify that grace here is not a sort of magical Christian substance, but rather that means nefs control and not just uh, bleeding out the irritation that is on one's mind, but to hang fire with one's tantrums and have good manners and patience and grace with obnoxious people, just as Allah has taught his prophets, Yaqub and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, patience and, uh, and uh, to, do, to do so.